So I'm going to start by just, that's the top. So I'm working from basically upside down. And what I'm going to do is weld the legs, well, part of, part of the legs because they have to be taller and I have to add tuning. So we're going to put them on. Weld them on. Well, clamp it all together. Weld it on later. So clamp, and then weld. Make sure everything's straight. Check it with the speed square. Go from there. them. This one here. Yeah, there's quite a bit of gap in these, so we have to do a lot of necessary so stretching. But as you can see, it's it's got some movement issues, so. Now right now these are only 23 and I got to get them to 36 but I also got to add in the factor of the height of the cart off the ground so which is 4 inches so take 4 off of the 36 So at 32, which means I've got to add about 7 inches, I believe. Was it 23? At 32, I've got to add about 10 inches, 8, 10, or 9 to 10 inches to each one of the four legs which is going to be a problem because they welded a nut on the inside of the legs so I'll have to cut them out I'm not going to cut them off like here or nothing I'm going to cut the weld that holds the nut and that will make it easier to get the, uh, the old bed frame uh, angle iron down in it to weld it so yeah not too bad not too bad what also has to do though I'm gonna weld the legs on first the extended height we need so that way I'm going to set one of the steel pieces outside on top of the whole square so that way everything will be square that makes it easier. And that's before I weld. I won't be welding anything until, well, I'll be welding the leg on, but I won't be welding any of the structure together until it's a big cube. So, that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to cut these nuts off, weld them on. Well, not weld the nuts on, but weld the legs on. Get the exact height I need. And then I'll show you the welding and stuff. But first, Get the height, cut all these nuts off, and go from there. Okay, so I cut the nuts that were on here off. If you can see it, I know the light's messing stuff up right now, but it's cut off. Right here's where it is. I cut them off and grind them off, and I'm gonna cut extensions for these to get to height, but I'm not gonna butt weld it because butt welding these would be a weak point 
So what I'm gonna do is I made some little cutoffs here to put behind it. So that way when I weld this, I can leave a gap, fill this, and weld all the way around these to make it strong. That's what I'm working on right now. I gotta grind the paint off of these and then I'm gonna weld them on. Sucks doing this without a table. Can't wait till this is done. But that's what I'm working on now. So grind that stuff when I'll turn you back on, do some welding. Okay, I have all the, I guess you call sport tabs, uh, clamped into place, and now I'm gonna weld them. tack them on and then we'll full weld everything and then we'll also weld it to the top okay so here's the cut Let me get a better angle on there here's the cut and the basically the tab I welded for extra here's my nine inch cut piece which is going to make up the height difference now I'm gonna leave a gap. And I gotta do that on all of them and try to keep it perfectly square, like straight, which is gonna be tough. Yeah, it feels like there's a there's something on the back side of this. Yep, a couple of weld pops. So I'm gonna have to cut them, well, grind them weld pops down. So that way they'll sit perfectly flush. Actually, right there's got it. Any adjustment I need to do, I can do with my fingers. Now I can use, let's see here, a welding magnet somewhere. Oh, well, I'll find a welding magnet, put the welding magnet on back side here. Could double clamp it with another piece. But that's what you gotta do. You gotta get it to where it's perfectly straight up and down. Give you about, I got about an eighth inch gap in there to weld to where it's really good and strong. And I gotta do it to all, all the other three now. I'm gonna do that, cut you back on right before I weld it. Now we're going to tack these up, try to get them as straight as humanly possible.
finish up welding the rest of the legs all the way around. And then we will put the top and bottom together onto the legs and then get everything to height. Okay, so now I'm gonna clamp the legs we just made to the top. Now this is the top. These are still hot, of course. Got to figure out which way I want to do it. I want to put the welded part top. Yeah, the welded part to the top. Still very hot. Could get fun right here because I don't have that many clamps. And so it's like clamp, clamp the top. Alright, now we'll put the bottom on. Gloves on real quick. Jesus. Rusty. Need as much rust as I ate cutting out rust on cars. Probably immune to it. So let's see here. Which side do I want to do which here? Um, we're gonna do that way. Yeah. And of course I've got myself in a spot here to where I don't fit. Oh. Right. coming together now. It's easy when you find things like these that are already made, like those. Easy. Like when you're building all this from scratch, so it's gonna suck. And of course, I don't know what my measurements are at right now. Put some cross braces in through like this area over in the corners to make it tighter. Right now, I gotta see what my side will get taken here. We're shooting for 32. Thirty-two and a quarter is what we're at. But that could be because it's crooked or whatnot. It's dead at thirty-two, so I'd say this has to go down. Or I can bring everything will have to be I'll find the highest point and I'll bring every leg up to that point, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just fall off there. But this is basically, you know, the frame. So, now I'm gonna have to get more clamps real quick so I can't find any more pliers or anything clamping. And I have to do the bottom two and the other two, so I need four more clamps. But I'm gonna get all clamped together and I am going to probably find the highest point, level it all up, and we'll go from there. 
You can see though, it's gonna be a pretty good size table. 